If you want to get Metroid Prime 4 working on your emulator, I suggest using Citron as of right now. I've tried it on Eden and Ryujinx, but the latest nightly release of Citron, if you come down here, I'm on Windows, grab your corresponding OS and download this version of the nightly. There might be, by the time you're watching this, a newer version. So here's the zip file. We're going to right click and extract it. Show more options, seven zip, extract to, and there's our Citron nightly. I'm going to place it with all my other emulators. Delete the zip and I'll delete that since it's over here. Go inside and citron.exe, that's the file we want to run. And here I already have Citron set up, so it should automatically find those paths, in, including your keys and stuff. But if you don't have it set up, check the link in the description and I'll have a setup guide there for you. So I've already set it up, but we're going to make some setting changes for this game. So go to emulation, configure. We'll start off in the normal graphics tab. Make sure you're not trying to upscale, so just have it on one times. And then at the very top, this is something you can try to see which works for you better, but choose Vulkan or OpenGL. Vulkan is typically better, but if you have issues, just switch to OpenGL and try that. Of course, this game will run better if you have a dedicated graphics card. Go into System, and just make sure you have 4GB DRAM default. Hit Apply, press OK. If you did already try it out, just right click, go to Remove, Remove Cache Storage, yes. Go back to that same spot and go remove all pipeline cache. Press yes, successfully removed. And lastly, you're gonna to wanna to be on the latest firmware and keys. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and install the latest. There we go, and now let's give it a go. So obviously it's not running perfectly smooth, it's still new, but I will say you'll get a much better experience if you play new games on the official hardware. So as you can see, we made it well past the previous crash point. So hopefully this video was able to help you out. And remember, if you do have fun, consider buying the actual game from Nintendo. Because it is so new, comment below if this helped you out. And if you did still have issues, let me know down below and I'll look for another fix. But I'll see you on the next one.